गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ गौरव गाडगे आई एम वर्किंग एज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग सेंट फिनसेंट पोलिटी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी नागपुर आई एम हियर टू एक्सप्लेन यू द सुपर पोजिशन थियरम विच इज अप्लाइड टू ए सी एंड डी सी इन सर्किट्स लेट इज स्टार्ट विद द स्टेप बाय स्टेप प्रोसीजर टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस सुपर पोजिशन थियरम कंसिडर सिंपल एग्जाम्पल वेर देर आर थ्री रेजिस्टेंस इज कनेक्टेड इन टी नेटवर्क विद द टू सप्लाई सोर्सेज वोल्टेज एज वी वन एंड वी टू विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू द पोजिशन ऑफ पॉजिटिव टर्मिनल ऑफ द वोल्टेज सोर्स आई वन एंड आई टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द वोल्टेज सोर्स पासिस थ्रू रेजिस्टेंसेज आर वन आर टू रिस्पेक्टिवली द डायरेक्शन ऑफ करंट आई वन इज लेफ्ट टू राइट द डायरेक्शन ऑफ करंट आई टू इज राइट टू लेफ्ट एंड हेंस both the currents meeting at one point that point is say node a hence both the currents get added and the current i3 passes through resistance r3 hence we can say i3 is the current which is the summation of i1 and i2 here the directions are mentioned which is very very important to find the final value of the unknown parameter using superposition theorem now step 2 in step 2 one of the voltage source is deactivated using short circuit link so v2 voltage source is short circuited and hence the only voltage source present in the network is v1 this effect of v1 is i1 dash starts from voltage source v1 follows a resistance r1 and at same node a it get divided into two again as i said the directions are important hence the direction of i1 dash is left to right which is same as the direction of i1 in original circuit but in this case the direction of i2 dash is changed which is not similar to the direction of i2 but the direction of i3 dash is again same similar to the direction of i3 which is downward i1 dash at node a get divided into two as i2 dash and i3 dash so this is for step 2 where v2 voltage source is deactivated and v1 voltage source is active now consider step 3 in this step 3 voltage source v1 is deactivated which is made zero by short circuiting its terminal and now the voltage source v2 is present which is active hence the effect of that as i2 double dash starts from positive terminal of v2 follows resistance r2 now the direction of the i2 double dash is same as i2 of original circuit but it is opposite to i2 dash of step 2 hence the direction i2 double dash is right to left again that current at node a get divided into two one current is i1 double dash from right to left and second current i3 double dash which is downward passes through r3 here the direction of i3 double dash is same as i3 dash as well as i3 but the direction of i1 double dash is now changed it is opposite to the current i1 and i1 dash of previous two circuits after getting this let us apply superposition theorem to the network hence we get the three equations of three branch currents i1 i2 i3 from original branch circuit as i1 equal to i1 dash plus i1 double dash but the direction of i1 double dash is opposite to both the currents hence we can write it with the minus sign i2 is equal to i2 dash plus i2 double dash here the direction of i2 dash is opposite to the direction of a uh, remaining two currents hence we can write there as minus and i3 where equal to i3 dash plus i3 double dash here for this this branch current the directions of all the three currents are same hence no need to change any of the sign for the current so this is what the simple example which we understood to understand the superposition principle so, so according to superposition principle the effect of both the sources is equal to the effect of individual summation of individual effects that is current hence we are getting three different equations for three different branch currents thank you